वेलकम टू माई चैनल अध्ययन विथ फ्लो चैप्टर टेन सेल साइकिल एंड डिविजन ओके गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू नो दैट व्हाट इज यूनी सेलुलर एंड सम आर मल्टी सेलुलर यूनी सेलुलर मीन्स दे हैव वन सेल क्लियर गाइस मल्टी सेलुलर मीन्स दे हैव मल्टीपल सेल सो मल्टीपल सेल्स मेक एग्रीगेट एंड दे फॉर्म टिश्यू and tissue form a organ organ arrange in a system and we call it as a organ system and body will form but in unicellular it does not require any kind of body system so we were going to start about what what is cell guys how how they can form tissue tissue form organs organ form organ system guys cell have a dividing capacity one cell divided into two cell yes guys this property we call it as a cell division now cell division is clear this cell division is not a simple process guys they follow they follow some protocol they follow some protocol they follow some cycle then they can divide all right now you clear now i think you clear guys so cell cycle cell division is a very important process of in all living organism we know this thing na cell division important so one cell divided into two cell two cell divided into four cell and if we talk about egg and sperm fusion they make zygote and zygote will divide and make blastula blastula goes divide and they make what gastrula so yeah division or divide division divide hona both are different way they divide according to this way simple man and they divide according to this way okay during this division of a cell dna replication cell growth also take place i discuss further we will discuss further all these processes cell division dna replication cell growth means some protein formation everything followed in cell cycle after cell cycle they complete their protocol then cell divide so cell cycle divided into two parts guys look at here look at here your diagrammatic way i know this is not a clearly visible i'm zooming here your cell cycle divided into two part first is interface and second is m phase i told you now first is interface this yellow portion these are the interface longest time taking we can also call it as a pre preparatory phase okay now they take 23 hours for preparation and m phase take 1 hour okay this is the property guys one by one i am telling for you okay you know na guys you prepare for neat you prepare for iit je you give your lots of time guys you give your lots of time but exam time is exam is 2 to 3 hours that's it and you give your whole 2 to 3 years for preparation but when you perform 2 to 3 hours is enough that's it so after preparation guys when you fully prepare then what do you think then what do you think anyone can stop you no if you prepare then cell become divide so first of all let's start with the nod phase this is the quiescent phase no no preparation no preparation no cell growth no dividing capacity not present in here they are still in quiescent phase this cell goes into g1 now what happen in g1 here is maximum 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 preparation is occur next maximum preparation going to occur how like we know na for cell division we need lots of protein so protein will formed here we know na we want that this cell divided into two cells so definitely this cell become enlarged in shape of cell now they contain this cell contain this much cytoplasm and when they enlarge their size then they contain lots of cytoplasm so cytoplasm double guys we know that we know that ki in s phase dna replication this process going to occur but guys for dna replication there are lots of enzyme required so enzyme also formed in g1 phase they require during dna replication they require lots of lots of enzymes so they have to prepare all the enzymes guys one cell contain less number of mitochondria less number of golgi body but here they make large number of cell organelle except nucleus large number of cell organelles they make 
okay okay not in s phase wait 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 guys in s phase still in s phase there are lots of protein formation related with cell division some protein related with only for g1 but some proteins related with other cycle s1 also g2 also m phase also g1 made this now maximum protein maximum protein inactive in form yes guys guys this is the g1 phase and those protein which are responsible for g1 only those protein will activate and rest of remain inactive form because that protein does not have any kind of work they perform according to their cycle they perform according to their cycle okay s phase protein activate in s phase g2 protein activate in g2 phase and g1 proteins activate in g1 phase in g1 phase protein activate and rest of the protein inactivate in s entering in s phase so s phase protein is activate and remaining are inactivate if cell is enter in g2 phase so g2 phase protein is still activate and remaining are inactivated if protein enters if cell is enter in m phase dividing phase so dividing phase protein are activate and rest of the like g1 as g2 all are then activated time so at a specific time at a specific cycle protein will activate and remain are inactivate now you can better understand now in s phase there are duplication of dna look at me guys this is the dna double helical structure this one dna this is dna not enough for one cell this not enough for two cell this is the cell guys one dna is enough for them but this size they not satisfied with one single dna so they replicate their cell for replication they split their double strand this is this strand and below this is strand now what they do they self replicate so their protein bind and activate them here protein activation and they bind and they activate clear guys now clear after dna duplication if they want that rna also formed here so what they do they again split they again split and what they do now they perform mrna they make mrna this process we call it as a transcription dna to rna if i want some protein is necessary at a time of s phase then this process we call it as a translation so if when mrna will form if when mrna will form ribosome come and some enzymes are come and what happen protein will synthesize in a polypeptide chain protein so this is the s phase role this is the s phase role there are centriole also divide centriole also divide in this phase and this phase also same centriole divide centriole form also if they require any kind of less of protein they also uh, made up made protein here guys i'm writing here na protein these are histone protein histone protein look at me guys what is histone protein they are present in octamer look at me guys they are present in octamer okay this is not one these two in number these two in number these two in number these two in number and what happen with them dna will wrap around and make a chromosomal structure and make a chromosomal structure now you can better clear what kind of protein i told you before now g2 that is also a checkpoint phase yes this whole mechanism this whole mechanism also checked by g2 that all dna will duplicate duplicate or not all cell organelle duplicate duplicate or not all kind of protein duplicate yes duplicate or no if something is less like cell organelle is less then they make cell organelle make cell organelle if cytoplasm is less they make cytoplasm now they check everything they check everything before entering in m phase now after entering in m phase the role of interphase is over now they start dividing and they phase some prophase here is dna called in form metaphase they arrange in metaphasic plate anaphase then they segregate segregate towards the different different pole look at here look at here guys i'm detail explanation i explain everything don't worry at different different pole antelophase they occur at different pole and now last nucleus will divide this is the one cell and nucleus will divide 
and cytokine is cell is divided so they make two cell this is the overall value this is the overall the value of this flow chart now i'm gonna start i'm gonna start one by one okay g1 phase g1 phase correspond to interval between mitosis and initiation of dna replication so okay guys g1 phase present between s phase and m phase look at that guys now this cell enter in g1 phase they divide this phase cell enter in g1 phase and they divide during g1 phase the cell is metabolically active of course metabolically active they make lots of protein they make lots of enzyme and continuously grow but does not replicate its dna they grow guys but dna replication occur in s phase s or synthesis phase mark the period during dna synthesis or replication take place during this time the amount of dna per cell double look at here now guys if one cell contain one dna then they duplicate their self if the initial amount of dna is denoted at 2c then it increase this is the guys c value chromatid value c value chromatid value okay look at me here there is no increase in chromosome number if the cell has deployed to a number the chromosome has at g1 even after s phase of the number chromosome remain the same whatever the number of the chromosome in g1 phase there is same number of the in g1 phase on look at me this is the one chromosome okay 2c 2n now what happen in s phase they replicate na guys but they still but they still single chromosome but they still single chromosome okay in animal during the s phase dna replication begin in the nucleus of course guys dna replication take place in nucleus because this is the cell and this is the nucleus nucleus contain dna so they can divide their self within the nucleus the centriole duplicates in the cytoplasm i told you na guys centriole also duplicate in s phase okay during the g2 phase protein are synthesized in preparatory or okay i told you na all g1 as g2 they make their own protein and g1 also make protein for all of all of them but a special protein will activate in their specific cycle means they make cyclin cdk protein but cdk cyclin protein different for g1 phase and these are different for s phase and these are different for g2 phase and they are different for m phase okay not same like cyclin a b c d assume na cdk 1 2 at a g1 phase they activate and they activate at a g2 phase cyclin b activate assume cyclin cdk 2 is activate cyclin move like cyclin a activate in g1 phase cyclin b activate in g2 phase cyclin c activate in g0 phase s phase and cyclin d will activate in m phase okay na guys like cdk1 activate in g1 uh, g1 s g2 but cyclin 2 will activate in m phase okay look at me guys okay there is some quiescent stage there is a quiescent because this is inactive there is no division no preparation no growth no dividing power nothing okay they are exist in c phase only they do not do anything they don't do anything guys in animals mitotic cell division is only seen in diploid somatic cells yeah guys mitosis seen in different cell and meiosis seen in different cell i told you further i will teach you everything so this is this is guys all about introduction of interface tomorrow in our next video we will discuss about m phase because this is long na this is not a 15 minute explain okay this is long all right m phase we will talk about in our next video so thanks guys thank you for listening me giving me time keep smiling and revise 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 thank you